top three na pinakasinungaling na trabaho sa Pilipinas, I will start with number three and then two and one. Number three, beautician. Sasabihin nilang maganda ang customer kahit hindi naman talaga. <laughs> Number two, konektor ng jeep. Sasabihin niya na dalawa pa ang kasya, kahit po na. And last, and the most prolific of all these liars, number one, politiko. That's the end of the story. <laughs> Kasi ah, sa lungkat sa gusto mo, kaya ayaw mo pakinggan. Eh, kung ayaw mo pakinggan, eh, umalis ka sa korte. Ah, alis na nga po sana ako eh, kaya lang... Granted! Mabuti pang mamatay ako bilang isang abogada nang sa makikiginig ako ng mga rason na ganun. Minsan, may nanligaw sa akin, magyabang siya at sinabing, nasa dugo talaga namin ang pagiging gwapo. Ang sabi ko naman, bakit sa dugo lang? Bakit hindi punta sa mukha mo? Kung pangit ka at mahilig kang mag-selfie, sabihin mo na lang na lahat ng pictures mo ay wacky. <laughs> Alam mo ba kung bakit pumasa ang anti-cybercrime law? Dahil sa profile picture mo. Face to face, huwag kang mag-upa ng attack dog mo. Ikaw ang umarap sa akin. Tapos na ba ang exams mo? Baka pwedeng ako naman ang sagutin mo. Sa halip na mag-lecture ng mag-lecture o mag-orate sa taong bayan, kung minsan mas madali pa kung idaan na lang natin sa pabiro. Dahil dyan nagkakaintindihan tayo, lalo na tayo mga Pilipino. Sabihin ninyo sa crush ninyo, sa klase. Pahingi naman ako ng papel. Papel sa buhay mo. I would like to thank all the millions of stupid people in the Philippines because they inspired this book. Kung walang kayang may sagot sa exam, ilagay na lang ninyo magmahal. Dahil, dahil, kailanman hindi mali ang magmahal. I only advised, I did not order. Really? Buti sana kung wala akong doctorate o hindi ako nag-graduate sa UP. Malas natin, I did both. Cup noodles ka ba? Gusto kasi, gusto kasi kitang buhusan ng kumukulong tubig. Paano mong hold up ang mga sosyal? Sinasabi, hold up here. Make the guy all your thing is. Don't make the love or I'll make tusok-tusok you. Anong height mo? Paano ka nagtasya sa puso ko? Pakadaling sabihin na, Igera natin ang China. Eh kung matalo ang China at nag-surrender silang lahat, anong ipapakain natin sa kanila? <laughs> Bakit nakaschedule sa tag-init ang kampanya para eleksyon? Dahil dito napapatunayan kung anong klaseng politiko ang nangangampanya. Kung matunaw sila sa init, ilig sabihin, plastic sila. Panginoon, bigyan mo ako ng sapang buhay at imbestigahin ko lahat! Um, what can I ask of you? I am facing a woman who would become the president of the Republic of the It is even an insult to the intellect of everybody to be asking a learned and experienced human being in this planet. So, may tanong po ba kayo ngayon? Ang tanong ko, ma'am, uh, how are you today? <laughs> I'm almost back to normal good health because I'm on a secret pill that is not yet available in the market but is being sold at very atrociously expensive prices. And um, it's a miracle worker in the sense that I'm almost normal now. Oh, come on. You will live for a thousand years. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> no doubt about it. I, I rest my case. Uh, who's the moderator here? Yeah? All right. Since wala kayong tanong, pero ma'am, may oras po kayo.
May isang minuto po kayo. Would you like to use it? Mm. To what answer the question? You have a minute to speak if I, I you wish to use it now. I have been the subject of much black propaganda concerning my health. I have never been false to the Filipino people. The moment I was diagnosed, I immediately called for a press conference and announced the status of my health. But after consulting with my sister, who is a doctor in the United States, I learned that there's now a cancer revolution. There is a new cancer anti-drug almost every week. The only drawback elected officers were supposed to represent our constituencies. Eh kung natulan natin may sala yan, di, ibig lang sa, dahil kukan siya, ibig lang sabihin tayo, honest tayo. Ngayon, kung lahat pala tayo honest, o marami pala tayo, sa atin ay honest, why is the Philippines often, or if not all the time, why is the Philippines always ranked as one of the most corrupt countries in the whole world? Yan, sagutin niyo ako niyan. Nagpapakalinis kayo, Aba kung malinis pala ang mga opisyalis natin at malinis pala sa buong bansa, eh bakit palagi tayong nililista ng Transparency International as one of the most corrupt countries in the world? Magtitingin lang tayo? Sino kaya dito? Yan ang unang punto ko. Pangalawa, tumigil na kayo ng kapabanggapanggapan nyo, mga artista. Merong mga politiko na alam na alam natin kung anong loophole sila sa salen. Dipo, deposito ang sinasabi ng batas pagkatapusan ng Disyembre, katapusan ng taon, magdeklara ka kung magkano pera mo sa bangko. Hindi ba, gina-withdraw nila pera nila sa buwan na Nobyembre o Disyembre para pag naglagay sila, pag nag-file sila ng salen nila, wala nga silang deposito. O kaya meron lang sila ng couple of thousands. Kasi withdraw nila eh. Pag Enero, ideposit nila uli. Taong bayan, kayo ang magtistigo. Yan. Bakit hindi natin nabuling yung ganon? Pangalawa, panusot. O pangalawa, na ginagawa nila na loophole sa San N. Lahat ng pag-ari nila, real estate, bank accounts, iba pang pag-ari, lalagay sa ibang palalan. Yan is very, very widespread. O di wala na naman sila pag-ari dahil lahat linagay na nila sa ibang pag-alan. Kung bawal ang asawa at ang mga anak dahil sa batas ay infeksyon na yung pati yan, yung mga malapit sa kanila, di doon siya mga malalayo ng mga kamag-anak. O kaya maski hindi kamag-anak sa kaibigan na pinagkakasimulaan nila. What a hypocritical accusation. That is a problem in this country. We're all for honest government and yet the world condemns us as one of the most corrupt countries in the world. That's why it is difficult to win in any international election, in any international campaign, because the Philippines, among others, has a reputation of being a corrupt country. Isip ng iba, kung corrupt ang bayan na yan, walang matinong lalabas dyan. Walang matinong ibubunga yan. Ba bawat isa ba sa inyo? Walang sala? Tungkol sa salen? Bigyan nyo ako ng sapang buhay. Panginoon, bigyan mo ako ng sapang buhay. At investigahin ko lahat. Isa-isa. Dito sa Senado, sa House of Representatives, sinya natin. Pati sarili ko, investigayin ko. For the Constitution provides, no law shall be passed abridging the right of the people peaceably to assemble and petition the government for redress of grievances. All that I have done has been to assemble our people so that we can petition Congress and the rest of the nation to redress this grievance brought about by massive wholesale election fraud, the worst in the history of this country. And immediately, we have provoked a firestorm of recrimination from those who should know better. But I remind them of the famous essay on liberty by John Mell. He said, Let a person speak. If he speaks falsehood, then he will be revealed and unmasked for the fool and the liar that he might be. But if he speaks the truth, then it can only benefit society. And let us remember the famous dissenting opinion by Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr., who said, the best test of truth is the capacity of the truth to get itself accepted in the marketplace of ideas. Ladies and gentlemen of the Filipino nation, I present my case before you. You judge in the marketplace of ideas whether I, what I speak is the truth. For without my people, without the youth, the military who voted for me, I am nothing. I am a cipher. I am only a glitch on your television screen. Thus, people should not be afraid 
of me. People should be afraid of the Filipinos.